How do you do? How do you do? The Democratic Party people, the truth of the matter is that the Democratic Party people, and this is the essence of my blog, is there anybody lower and more crude and vulgar than the Democrats when they start losing an election? They talked about McCarthyites and McCarthyism, how they besmirched and destroyed people's reputations, but they have no problem destroying anybody they please and saying anything they please about anybody who's on the, on the opposite side politically. They don't involve themselves in, in discourse, in debate. They don't involve themselves in a complex issue, questions and answer period to find out who's right about which issue. The issues terrorize them because they're on the wrong side of every issue because the public can't stand anything they stand for. And that's why Barack Obama's numbers are getting lower and lower every day, and the Democratic Party is lower in the polls every day, and uh, Nancy Pelosi is down to 11% popularity, and, and uh, Harry Reid is down to maybe 6 or 7% popularity, and if you wake up in the morning, they're down to 4%, and before you know it, they'll disappear from popularity. Nobody will even remember that they live in this country because nobody could stand them or tolerate them because everything they stand for and everything they wanted to promote in the American people went into the tank. It was offensive and disgusting to everybody. And the main enemies they have are the people who happen to catch them lying to everybody and suggesting things that nobody wants and fighting for things that nobody could stand. And now the hate that they have for anybody who disagrees with them is unbelievable. First, they tell you the Tea Party people have a right to their opinion. It's a democracy, and it's wonderful that we have a free country where they could go for a walk and express their opinion. Then all of a sudden, they decided that they have a right to walk, but they don't have to announce anything. They don't have to say they disagree with you because now they're becoming offensive. Then they took a longer walk, and they say they don't have to walk that long. They walked long enough. Why can't they sit down for a couple of months and keep your mouth shut at least till election day? Why do you have to disturb us so much by, by fighting against us and actually win an election? We're here to win elections and we can't stand this people who disagree with us. We're fighting for democracy. Democracy means that what we say goes and if you disagree with us, you now have a different name every day. First, they were just obnoxious. Then they became disgusting. Then they became unbearable. Then they became Nazis. Then they became racists. Then they became extremists. Now they don't know which name to call them. Every time they come up, they don't answer the question about what the Tea Party is complaining about because they haven't got an answer. The only answer is that you're no good and you're a filthy person. You, you should be destroyed because you're nuts or you're insane or you're a racist or you're a pig. And why? Why? They don't know. They don't know of anybody in the Tea Party who has done anything wrong to anybody. They can't find, they call them racist because somebody found a jacket that somebody wore that said something that they can't identify and they don't remember who wore the jacket. They don't remember if it was really from the Tea Party. All they know is they saw a t-shirt or a jacket and they don't know who wore it. It might have been their own jacket. They don't know what they're talking about. All they know is they found an enemy and they can't identify it because they can't figure out what the enemy is about and who he is. Who's your enemy? Your enemy is the fact that we caught you lying to the American people. And just because we caught you lying, we became fascist, racist, pigs, and lowlifes. Because you can't tell the truth about anything. Where are the lowlifes? The lowlife is a person who keeps lying to the American people. It was all the time it was Bush's fault that the economy is not working. Now, two years later, it's still Bush's fault. It's like you go to a doctor because somebody else couldn't cure you. So the doctor says, I got the medicine and this will cure you in a second. Two years later, you're sicker than you were two years ago. And they say it's the other doctor's fault. But you became the doctor. You said you have the cure. This is your job. If you, this is not your field, don't be a doctor. If you can't do anything about it, don't be a president. When Barack Obama was running for president, he didn't say I can't do nothing about it. He said I'll cure it. There'll be jobs by the millions all over America in 10 minutes. Now it's two years later, nobody is working except him. And if he stays president another year, even he won't be working. You know why? Because he doesn't deserve the job. He doesn't know what he's doing. And no, none of the, not one of the Democrats know what they're talking about. And no, we have to resort to vulgarity, filth, name calling, and the disgusting be the behavior is unbearable and, and, and so offensive and doesn't belong in a democracy. You believe in democracy? Democracy means that the other side has an opinion. And if you can't tolerate, get out of this country. If nobody's allowed to have an opinion except you, you're not an American. Don't tell me the Tea Party is not Americans. You're not an American. An American wants to hear what you got to say. And they want to tell you why they disagree. They don't get nauseous and call your names and tell you to drop dead because you have the nerve to disagree with them. McCarthyism was disgusting. This is 10 times more disgusting. McCarthy was just one person. This is a whole party and a whole crowd that doesn't sound like Americans. They sound like 
of disgusting people who shouldn't be in this country for another minute. Because when election day comes, get out of this country. You don't belong here in the middle of an election. <laughs> How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jackie Mason. Are you excited about this information? Well, if you're not, let's be honest about it. You, you should look into your mental health. Find out if you need a pill, or you should find out if you're a normal person, because if you're a normal person, you know about Jackie Mason, and you're excited about Jackie Mason. And Jackie Mason is the most exciting comedian of our time. Did you know that? If you didn't know any of these facts, look it up. And all you have to do is ask me, and I'll tell it to you. There's no greater comedian alive today than Jackie Mason. You know where I heard it? I heard it from me because I tell it to myself every day. Now, you know where I'm coming? Are you listening carefully? To the Eisman Center. You know when? October 16th. October 16th, Jackie Mason is in the Eisman Center. Now, could you control yourself now since you heard this information? Are you running to buy a ticket? Are you telling your wife to stop talking to you? Are you running away from your children and running to the box office to buy that ticket? Because if you're not, you have a mental problem, you're a little slow. Try to find out what's wrong with you. If you don't come to see the show, you better go immediately to see a doctor to find out what's your problem. Because anybody whose mind is still working is running right now to see Jackie Mason at the Eisman Center, October 16th. And by the way, there's a special discount if you happen to be a YouTube customer of mine. And this discount is a fortune, but you're not, nobody deserves it. I'm giving it to you anyway, because it's a bargain at any price. It's unbelievable at any price. As a matter of fact, I'm even paying to see me. Did you ever think a thing like this would happen? Well, God bless you. I hope you show up. And if you're there, I'll be glad to talk to you in person. Thank you. Mr. Mason, I would be correct in assuming that as an artist concerned with the welfare of his fellow man, you have a vested interest in seeing judgment done in a fair and impartial manner? Positively not. Mason. Look, some people are so filled with chaos, they Here's just have to put it off on others story. like him. He's a sick man. About one angry man. He's making a little weird this whole system. He's making a little over <laughs> with his own psychology. Thank God. Jackie. You solved the case. He's right. Thank you. 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 That's right. He's never wrong. He'll make sure the guilty go to jail and the innocent go free. Some say he's tacky. I think the man is a schmuck. Just a little too wacky. But thank God for Jackie.